be filming my whole video from Generation Beauty and then some clothes that I got before I went to LA. So the reason why this video is up kind of late is because I actually filmed this right when I got back from my trip and then when I imported it I accidentally deleted like half of the footage like right in the middle so it just did not make any sense. So I'm refilming this for you guys but I hope you guys are excited. So this is a big makeup and hair product haul and then also some clothes. So I will just get on with the haul and I hope you guys enjoy. So I'll just start off with the clothes that I got. So the only store that I went to was Urban Outfitters and I haven't been there in a while so I was pretty pumped to go and get some goodies. So the first top that I got was um, this one and I actually wore this to um, LA like on the airplane and stuff because it's just really light and um, this is what it looks like. It has a cute tie in the front. This material is super lightweight so it's really nice for the summer because um, when it gets really hot it doesn't feel like you're wearing a lot of like fabric and stuff. So this is the first top and I believe this one was $29.99. And then the next tank top I got is one that I wore already as well. So sorry, I wore some of this stuff already um, just because I filmed this haul a while ago and then I thought it was done and so I like could use my stuff and now I'd refilm it. But um, so this is the top and it says, I'm not even gonna try to butcher that because yeah, but I think it's French and that is what it looks like. And I love this top because it has like different colors like bursts of pink and orange and it's just really cute and it's racer back which I love and yeah I actually got this top in a size up so that it wasn't super super short like um, it's still pretty short for like a tank top I guess but um, again really good with high-waisted shorts and just like jeans I wore it with already and this one was also $29.99 and then the next thing I got was this really cute pair of shorts and this is what it looks like. It's kind of different and I think it's cool because they're more like, it's a material that you can like dress it up. So I think that's really nice. And these are high waisted shorts because I love the Urban Outfitters um, polka dot high waisted shorts. I'm actually wearing them right now, um, but they're so, so comfortable. So I wanted to get another pair of the Urban Outfitters um, or another brand of their shorts, high-waisted shorts, I guess. Um, this one is not the same material, but I still really like it. And this one was um, $49. Make you holla. And then I got this top, and I thought this was super duper fun for the summer. Um, so this is what it looks like. And it's like this orangey yellow color scheme, I guess, going on. Um, so yeah, just like a crochet, really like it. And I like how the back um, goes down into this V so I just thought that was really cute and this one was $39 and it's just really cute perfect to wear with a bandeau and stuff or just like over your swimsuit um, going to the beach and then I got this bandeau because all of my bandeaus or most of them are um, just lace and I wanted to wear my lace top the other day and I realized that I couldn't really wear like lace on lace so I could but it just looked kind of weird um, so I wanted to get like a plain colored bandeau um, but then I found this pattern one and I thought this was super cute so this is what it looks like and what's really nice it has like padding in it um, it's not like a lot of padding but um, just so it's nice so you don't have to wear sticky boobs with it um, and this one was $12 and they had other patterns as well so I just thought this was really fun and I have a really cute black romper that I wanted to wear um, with this so I think that'll be really fun and then the next top I got was this peplum top and I love peplum I'm still obsessed with it um, and this is what it looks like it's just a nice light peplum I guess not super dramatic but um, the bottom part right here is like more see-through which I think is kind of cool and then the rest of it is covered I guess but yeah I just thought this was super fun and you can wear this I don't know, like casually, or you can wear some black wedges with it and dress it up. Um, this one was 34 and yeah, really like that. And then the next top I got was this one. It's all tangled in a myth here. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and it's just like this rosy color, and I think it's super fun and girly. I love like lace and girly things for the summer as you can see um but yeah really really like this and I like the bottom detailing and like the beading with like the flowers I thought that was so cute um this one I think was 
$2.59. or $59. Not exactly positive because I took the tag off, but yeah, that is that. And then the last thing that I got from Urban Outfitters um, was this top right here. And I love this top. This is like my favorite one that I got, I think, um, just because I love the detailing. So as you can see, how cute is that beading? I love, love, love it. I think it's going to be super fun for like a concert or something. Um, this one was 59 probably because of all the beading and stuff. But yeah, I really like it and it's just a nice tank top. I like how it's not like super thin, like spaghetti strap. Um, so it's thicker and then so the back looks like pretty plain. But yeah, so that is all that I got from Urban Outfitters. And now I'm going to be going on to the makeup that I got at Generation Beauty. So I was there in LA the past, I guess it was like two weekends ago. Oh my gosh, it is amazing, you guys. If you did not attend this year, then I really hope that you guys attend next year because I am definitely, definitely going to go and it's super, super fun. Way better than IMAX. Um, it's super not like crowded like that and you can actually like talk to the companies and there's happy hour and they give out free products. It's just really, really fun. So definitely, if you guys are thinking of going to IMAX, I recommend going to Generation Beauty instead. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the products that I got from Big Sexy Hair, and I've actually never tried prior to this um, the Big Sexy Hair products, but I know Allie's like obsessed with their hairspray. So the first thing is the Big Altitude, and this is a Botifying Blow Dry Mousse. Haven't used this yet, but it looks really cool. I think the nozzle looks awesome. I don't know, I'm all about the like packaging. Um, but yeah, so I definitely love to add body and volume into my hair whenever possible. So a lot of these products are like volumizing, which I'm really excited about because I have pretty fine hair. I have a lot of it, but um, it's pretty fine. So I definitely need volume in my hair at all possible. The next product is the Powder Play Pow Volumizing and Texturizing Powder. Um, this I actually used in my last tutorial, the Lucy Hale inspired makeup hair and outfit. I'll link that in the description box below. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, but yeah, so this is a nice volumizing powder. Um, just adds like volume to your roots. You just add a little bit. A uh, little bit goes a long way. It's not like a dry shampoo where you can just like pile that on and rub it in. Like this one will make your hair sticky if you put a ton of it in. So just a little bit and then rub it in and then it'll give you just like an extra bit of oomph I guess to your hair. So really really nice product to have. The next product is the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Touchable Weightless Hairspray and this has argan oil in it and I'm really really excited about this one as well. I think I'm going to give this one to my mom because she's really really into like all natural products especially for like makeup and hair and I am too um, to an extent I guess. I don't really only get healthy products but um, this one will be really cool. And the next product is the Spray and Play Volumizing Hairspray. I feel like this is their most iconic well-known um, product that they have and I'm really really excited about it. I've tried it and used it and already love it. Um, it's a really good hairspray and has a lot of it in it so it's like a huge bottle so I'm excited about that. And then next product is the Volumizing Dry Shampoo which I have yet to try but I love 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 dry shampoos. I use them all the time because my hair is very um, dry and curly and so I can get away with not washing my hair for like four or five days and I know it seems kind of gross but like my hair really does not get greasy. But regardless I like to use a dry shampoo on the days that I don't wash my hair because it just kind of adds more life into it makes it look a lot better and fresher so um, I'm really excited to use this one. The last hair product is the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Renewal Nourishing Styling Treatment. This has argan oil and I am already obsessed with this one. I use it like every single day and I use this on the second day of Generation Beauty because I got it on the Friday I believe um, before Generation Beauty and then I just used it on my ends and I was like oh my gosh this is amazing. I love love oils on my hair whether it be argan oil, Moroccan oil, macadamia oil, all that kind of stuff I'm obsessed with so this one is no exception really really good product and totally recommend it. 